Ladies and gentlemen, good morning or good afternoon. My name is Helena Kubatova and my name is Miroslav Dopeka. We are teachers from the Department of Sociology, Andragogy and Cultural Anthropology at the Faculty of Arts of Palacki University in Olmouc, Czech Republic. First, we want to thank the organizers of the conference for the opportunity to speak here. Now allow us to introduce our presentation and title, What do students learn in the class? The microstudy of one department. Our presentation has four parts. The third part will be about the underlying assumption of our research. The second part will be about the brief introduction to the concept, context of Czech higher education. In the third part, we will introduce you to the results of a questionnaire survey. In the fourth part, we will show you the main conclusions. Let's get to it. The underlying assumption of the presentation is that university teachers believe that they teach with students' expectations in mind, that is, that they teach independence in searching, evaluating, and presenting information in addition to educational content. They teach to argue, to question, to think critically, and to use digital technologies effectively. The university teachers also believe that they motivate students, activate them, and lead them to teamwork. Survey of teachers' perspective on this topic is therefore meaningless. Therefore, it seems that the only way to find out how and what university teachers teach and what students gain beside the knowledge and skills declared in the curriculum is to ask students directly. The Czech higher education transformed and developed after the Revolution 1989. From 26 public and state universities, there has been an increase to the current 60 universities. The difference is uh, represented by private universities. The number of students and graduates from universities has also increased three times. Public universities account for 91% of the students. According to the demographic curve, and the number of university students, the Czech higher educational system has gone from elite to mass to universal type in the last 30 years, which is consistent with Martin Trost's theory. The increase in the number of students corresponds to the transformation of the number of teachers at universities. Czech universities have developed as educational and research institution over the last 30 years. Every teacher is also a researcher. The number of teachers has more than doubled in the period under review. The current strategy of higher education in the Czech Republic. The Czech Ministry of Education is trying to adapt to rapid changes and innovations in society and in education, which is manifested, for example, by adapting various strategic documents, which are then elaborated by individual universities. The basic document is strategic plan of the Ministry for Higher Education for the period from 2021. The document sets out six priority objectives of higher education. Given the theme of this conference, we will focus on goal one, develop competen competencies directly relevant to life and practice in the 21st century. The big challenge for higher education is to strike the right balance between two principles, 
Training practical skills that can be applied in practice immediately after completion of study on the one hand, and developing more general intellectual and social competencies to enable graduates to respond to new situations in the labor market and in society in the future on the other hand. Now we move on to, on to the third part of the presentation. We will focus on our questionnaire survey. The main research question is what do students learn in the class? Target group are students of social studies in our department of our faculty of arts. All full-time students, excluding first year, were contacted. That is 303 students. Of these, 237 were bachelor students and 66 were master students. An online questionnaire was used data collection. A total of uh, 126 students visited the link. 87 students completed the competition, of which 57 were students in bachelor degree programs and 30 students in master degree programs. The return rate was 29%. Let me brief comment on the problem of low return rate. The return rate is very low, even thought we have conducted research in our department. All the students know us personally, so we should be credible to them. On the other, other hand, this is why students might be afraid to answer. In any case, we were not able to increase the return rate substantially. In general, this situation corresponds to the current very bad situation in social science research. There have been a few studies on the very low return rate of online questioning analyses. Analysis of the return rate of online surveys found an average return rate of 27%. The degree of bias in the results is not determined by the return rate alone, but rather by the extent to which respondents with a valid response differ from response with no answer. Some meta-analyses show that there is essentially no relationship between return rates and sample bias. In our case, we have no evidence to refute the risk of bias in the results by low or sample return rates, but this bias should not be bigger than in other studies. The results of a questionnaire survey. The main research question was, what do students learn in the class? Sub-research questions were, do they gain the knowledge and skills required in the curriculum? Do they expectations of the knowledge and skills acquired in the classroom match the curriculum? Do students gain anything else from the learning experience other than the knowledge and skills required in the curriculum? Initially, we were interested in whether students had learned the knowledge and skills planned in the curriculum. We found that there was not much difference between the knowledge and skills learned by the bachelors. There were fewer learned skills than knowledge for master level students. Here, it appears that master students want more practice, which is shown in the following research proposal. The answer to the first research question is completed by the answer to the question, are students acquiring competencies that are related to their field of study? Approximately three fifths of students respond that they acquire competencies by studying in their degree program. Attention will need to the focus on the 44% of bachelor students and 30% of master students who respond that only to a small extent or not at all.
The answer to the second research question focused on the students' opinion if the courses they expect were in their degree programs. In more than half of the response, students answered yes. Unexpected courses appear in the degree programs, according to 45% on the responses of bachelor students and 38% of the responses of master students. So, what are students missing in the curriculum? About 56% of students answered that they missed a topic in their study program. These students wrote in an open-ended question what they miss. The themes uh, identified in these responses are shown in this figure. From the figure, we can see that students miss more practical knowledge, more practical subjects, exercises, more focus on human resources, management, legislation, economics, practical personal work, social etiquette, self-development, mental health care, evaluation, recruitment, tutoring, coaching, informal education, more psychology, methodology, basics of pedagogy and edu educational policy, community education, education in developing countries, and didactics. The third research question focused on the experience of learning the knowledge and skills declared in the curriculum. Specifically, we asked what students learn and how important what they learn was to them. In the presented graph, it is interesting to observe the situation where the blue bar is higher than the gray bar, because it shows that the teacher is not teaching something that is important to the students. For example, being an expert arguing profession. But it is also interesting the other way around. In other words, that we are teaching something that is less important to students because maybe they already know it. Like taking notes, collaborating with others, helping others, or leading a team. Part of the third research question asked what approaches teachers use. The graphs suggest what teachers should focus on more, particularly individual, motivational, and supportive approaches to teaching. Students were also given the opportunity to add their own words to the answer. What do students appreciate about their teachers? At the end of the questionnaire, the students were asked the following open question. If you could say that one of the teachers is an inspiration for your life, please write it in what? The themes identified in these responses are shown in this figure. From the figure, we can see that students appreciate most about their teachers. Experience inspiration, passion for their subject, passion for the course, interesting life story, own experience, interaction with students, rich experience also from practice, equal approach to all students, professionalism, tolerance, empathy, critical thinking, motivating in studies and in life, understanding student, uh, not judging approach, supportive approach, desire to move forward, open and understanding approach to people, communication skills, and so on. They can excel in formulation of talks and they can affect students and leave impressions and emotions in them. So conclusions. In conclusion, let us return to main research question. What do students learn in the class? What is beyond the curriculum? Our results suggest that master students learn less skills than bachelor students. Master students feel that they gain more competencies in their field of study than bachelor students. 
courses taught are in line with student expect expectations to a greater extent for master students than for bachelor students. It is important for students that teaching focuses more on argumentation, expressions of ideas and expertise. It is interesting to find that although they study academic types of degree programs, they demand a greater focus on practice and on the profession. According to students, teachers have uh, reserves in providing individual motivational and supportive approach to students, which was reflected in what students appreciate about their teacher. Our research investigation would not have been possible without the resources presented here. Thank you for your attention. We'll be happy to answer your questions. Please write to us here.